Welcome to my channel. Today I got amazing delivery. You can see here this interesting package and inside we have the newest book by Johanna Basford. So let's open and let's start our adventure. It's so cute to have this adventure awaits. I really love it. On the back we also have a very nice stickers with Johanna's designs. Oh, Johanna was so generous to send so many goodies and here we have postcard I believe it's so cute to receive personal note from Johanna Here we have Johanna's card, very cute, this tiny, tiny rabbit. I hope that similar design will be inside the book. And we have next, yeah, I think that we have a couple of postcards, yeah, postcard, beautiful with golden print. So shiny. Oh, I wanted to try this sets of pencils for so long. And exactly the set which I wanted the most, botanicals. Finally, I will be able to test castle art. You know that many of you asked me my opinion about these pencils and I thought that they are similar to shuttle art or other pencils, but finally I will be able to test them by myself and colors are so nice. But first let's open the book by Johanna and then we will return to the pencils. Another cute sticker. It's like having yearly I don't know, Easter presents opening. Yeah, I managed to do it. To do it. And here is the beauty. Here is the newest edition by Johanna's book, World of Wonders. And look at this beautiful color. <laughs> you know that I love a violet, my favorite color, so I am glad that it was selected as a main color for the cover. Here I have US edition by Penguin's book and Johannes mentioned on her Facebook page that there will be UK and US editions. The difference is obvious, the spelling of coloring will help you to understand which one, which book you get and on the UK edition there is a little bit more of a violet color on the cover, also a little bit here on the roofs of the buildings. She says that paper is almost the same and that, as usual, she controlled the quality in both editions by herself. So, let's have a look. Beautiful cover. The size of the book is exactly like size of her first books, like 
a world of flowers or enchanted garden and of course it's a little bit bigger compelling to ivy so very cute designs on the cover for your projects <laughs> quick projects and it's sometimes it's very nice to have something small to color when you don't have enough time for big project a wallpaper design on the cover I do love that all the books by Johanna, they are printed on this a very nice light cream or off-white paper, very pleasant. I think that for her style it's much better comparing to the bright white paper. Somehow it's more comforting to color on this warm color of the paper. So we have a world of wonders, again, traditional Johanna style of drawing letters i think that i need to practice more but at least now i don't need to struggle with naming my book johanna helped me to put my name here on the name page i am terrible at drawing my name so it was really a very helpful here we have this cute heart now let's start our adventure yeah here it's mentioned that it's printed in the United States, so it's US edition. Again, page similar to the previous Johanna's books. And look at this flying <laughs> islands they are floating somewhere in the sky and they are a very nice and very cute i especially love this one because it has this very cute well and a lot of mushrooms and what i do love also is that we have a lot of lighthouses. I hope that on the next pages there will be more pictures with lighthouses. I don't know why, but I always love to color them. There is something comforting in lighthouses. A very cute elephant. And a very nice bird. Paper is a really thick and you can see that even with a new book I can easily lay it flat if you color in the beginning of the book and when you color on the left I would recommend to put something beneath to be able to lay it flat because book is relatively thick let's have a look at the binding it's glued but quality is the best I never had any problems with Johanna's book with falling apart or losing pages so even glued binding is great and surface of the paper is a very pleasant I think that all pencils will work nice here and of course I am so eager to start testing castle art pencils Oh, look here. Here I have peacocks. You probably know that I have a soft spot for peacocks and I did already peacocks from Hannah Carson, from um, Martin Noble and finally I will color peacock from Johanna Basford. It will be so nice. And they are surrounded by berries and fruits. So nice picture for summer. And finally we have castles. I hope that there will be a lot of castles inside of the book. For those who love to color ornaments or mandala, also very nice pictures. Look at these bottles. And all bottles, they <laughs> have so cute houses inside. Some of them even have some Chinese details. As I said, I do love to have some small projects to finish when you can spend maybe 20 minutes and you will have almost completed design. You can 
divide this page into four parts and to color everything individually by its own background or you can create the whole background for the page maybe some shelves and inside you will color these buildings so a lot of things to fantasy about I think that these two underwater scenes they are very similar to those designs which we had in the free book by Johanna Florals which she very generously gifted to us during a previous lockdown in the previous year and even at that time I wanted to color them but I had difficulties with printing them on the big size and finally I will be able to do them and I do have one uh, lighthouse like exactly like I wanted and castle exactly like I wanted so great spread absolutely great here we have some kind of steampunk fish and probably some kind of steampunk ship with houses very interesting something new for johanna it's so nice to see many pictures where she added something new comparing to her previous books here houses are extremely cute look at this one with sweets and cakes everything surrounded with very cute flower pots tiny trees, this cart with flowers, so many sweet details. And of course interesting things which are inside of the shops. Here we definitely have a cafe or sweet shop or bakery. Here we have a shop where we can purchase flowers. And here we have cute cat inside of the window. Let's move forward. Here we have a windmill on the island. And this castle is really interesting. It's like Chinese palace or maybe Japanese because of the style of the roofs. And here we have something like sample page for various fruits, vegetables. So, page for those who love gardening. And here we have very beautiful wallpaper design with lemons and flowers. I think that this can be nice page for me to start tasting water-based mediums. I would like to do a water-based watercolor background here and then to color lemons and leaves with regular pencils. I am sure that all the water-based mediums will work perfectly here. As I said, paper is really thick, so even if it's double-sided, I am sure that there won't be any problems. But of course, I will test it soon in my next videos. I do love this that this bee is created from flowers. I am not a huge fan of insects, but this one is really cute. This one is nice because it's surrounded by frame. Imagine um, that you can do something like wooden frame, adding wooden texture here, and then to do this landscape inside of the frame. I think that it's pretty good idea to start this book. Another uh, underwater design, and it's a it, you, you can color it as a spread or individually, trying to do different colors for the water. Maybe one can be deep blue and the other one can be in turquoise green colors. And to find colors for all the seaweeds and fishes accordingly to the color of the background. Oh, light, look at this tea party. Another very original design by Johanna, something new again. Oh yes, here we have the design which was printed on the card and that's the bunny which I wanted to do. It's extremely cute. It's such a simple shape, but it's perfect. Mm. 
Next, uh, let's move. This page can be good for trying to do something very creative with the background, maybe to practice your nail color crayons. And here we have another picture which already we were able to color from florals. On my channel I have videos where I colored all four designs, but I used dark green paper. So now I think that it can be interesting to color them, but on the white paper, because color of the background paper obviously it dictates you which colors to select for the main image. So I can practice second time, especially because I wasn't happy how I did this first board. The remaining three I do love and I will leave you links in the end of this video to these three designs, but the first one I think that I can redo. redo. <laughs> oh, we have some kind of the tropical island. Look at this. We can find so many nice small details. I do love flying fishes. They are interesting. Here we have the owl. It's similar to the owls in her previous books, but here she is more fashionable with these flowers on the head and her house it's also very nice very cute i love the style of houses when they have this fachwerk <laughs> like in england or in german we can find a lot of such houses and this roofs they are always very cute here we have three with houses and another page for tiny projects Let me show you closer this one with the mushroom and this miniature pictures. Here we have again a spread dedicated to underwater scenes. Here we have interesting underwater palace and it's something like probably in Indian style, Asian style. <laughs> Mid, mid east style probably i think that it's a really nice that palaces and houses they are in various styles and sometimes you can find some medieval details some uh, national details and it can be a nice start for you to choose colors to have the initial idea which colors to use and then step by step to select colors for the rest of the elements. Oh, this spread is very busy, so detailed. I can't imagine how long it would take to finish, because first you will need to look carefully at all those houses. We have uh, clocks, we have tiny snails, we have bottles with something inside, we have interesting boards which are carrying gemstones, here in the lower part, apart from this nice bunny, we also have some lanterns, flowers, teapots, so huge amount of details here. And now let's have a look at the second page. Also a variety of flowers and berries. I really love that apart from flowers we have berries, I prefer to color berries more. And this castle is probably the most interesting so far in the book. Here we have caves, a look at them again with board and some hidden gemstones. So really a very interesting scene. For me it's one of the best in the whole book. I really love it. Even if, I, as I said, it's a very detailed and time consuming. Oh, well, as I don't have a word of flowers, I can practice a various color combos for the leaves and for the flowers here. And if you love to color mandalas, so this page will be for you. Now 
let's have a look at the next spread. This one with beautiful Sven, it reminds me about stained glass windows. We can use this uh, frame and lines as a base for the stain base, st stained glass window and to color this background, also trying to imitate this glass and then to select some contrast colors for this one. Here we have some kind of probably night butterfly and cat. Here we have summer mandala with strawberries. Oh, this one is very interesting. Somehow in this book I am much more attracted to all underwater scenes. Maybe it's because I do love my uh, lost ocean, but their um, designs are very detailed with tiny parts. And here everything is slightly bigger, so I do love this same, but it will be easier to color. And look at this uh, various seaweeds, flowers, fishes, and of course this central part with beautiful golden fish and cute mushroom houses inside of the bottle. Oh, now I know what we can color during hot summer days. First of all, look at these sweets. Various cakes, iced tea, coffee with ice cream and of course different types of ice creams. I would say that even now I wouldn't refuse to eat something like this, even if we have still snow outside. And here another tiny <laughs> cafe, probably it's like a car with cafe and I think that it's really very nice to have a cat inside of the cafe, it's very comfortable. Look at this cupcakes, apples, huge cake, sweet and very nice design. Here we have something more traditional, similar to designs in ivy, so if you had already colored flowers in ivy and you need something new to do, you will be happy to have this, but it also can be good for coloring during springtime because this lily of the valleys, if I, if I am not mistaken with the name of the flower, they soon will be blooming, so it will be good to color them in spring. And another interesting castle. I do love this variety of roofs. And a variety of houses where you can add your own backgrounds. Maybe I would suggest to draw your own flowers and trees around. Maybe fans or additional buildings. So it can be really cute to uh, unite them with a walks between houses. And another more simplified design. Next we have this Arabian style spread with the camel and I do love all those buildings which it has on his back and this Arabian style castle. Next we have this bus. It's very helpful if you can't travel yet, you can have such a bus. You already have here nice small building and beautiful pine trees around. Very good idea. Here we have cute tickets. I think that on Johanna's Facebook page she already started to post tutorials and examples how she herself did part of these tickets. They are really very nice. 
and this spread is for the lovers of mushrooms. I know that many people love to color Johannes mushrooms in various colors, so another good spread for you. Here we have picture dedicated to camping probably and another castle on the tree. Another underwater scene and here we have Japanese style tiny ship, tiny boat, interesting cages, floating island with small house and of course interesting underwater. And this time this castle it reminds me about a famous cathedral in Moscow. One of the most beautiful in the world so you can use it as an inspiration. Another island. Look here again. I think that the left building we can color more in steampunk style, probably because of the style of the roofs and how all uh, elements are connected. And for all the three buildings you can select your own colors and to do some combining backgrounds. And the final page is to relax, to color tiny details without thinking a lot about background, about complicated shading. Here you can practice your layering skills and to play with colors. Here in the back we have testing page. And another spread. Even here on the cover surface is so good that it will be possible to color with all the pencils. And it was all. A nice thick book. A lot of houses to color. You know that I love to color houses. And I was surprised that it was so many underwater scenes. And I think that my first choice definitely will be one of them. Now let me quickly open Castle Art Pencils. Of course I will do their more thorough test in my next videos. For now I just want to look at the color palette. It's, we can see color palette here. But I really want to compare these pencils to Shuttle Art and to Sucolor. I know that Castle Art, they have a variety of such sets. All these pencils, they are included in their big set of 120. But if you want, you can also purchase sets dedicated to various artists. I think that they have Manet, uh, Picasso sets and also sets dedicated to portrait, botanical, landscapes. So they divided the huge set into smaller if you need something just one set. And inside we have this tiny tutorial how to color. Oh, here we have information about all their sets. But as I said, I don't know, I don't want to pay too much attention to these pencils in this video. This video is dedicated to Johanna book. And here we have these pencils. Beautiful, nice pencils. And I think that they will be my first to be tested in the new book. I thank you for watching. I will leave you links to my coloring of the birds with berries and fruits in the end of the video. And of course in the info box you will find links how to order this book. On Johanna's Facebook page you can find some videos how she colored pictures and I'm sure that in next weeks she posts a lot more videos. So let's start our adventure to the world of wonder. Thanks for watching and until the next videos.